how to pass the rev.com application process and actually get accepted for rev.com so you can use this to start earning money. Now this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to walk you through all of the questions. I'm going to show you every single answer. So all you need to do is follow along with this video, copy everything down, and by the end, you will be able to start earning money with rev.com. Okay, so if we go over to rev.com, you can see that this is the website. It's recently changed, it looks slightly different to it did before. But what you want to do is once you are over here on rev.com, is you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click here on become a freelancer. This is then going to open up this rev.com freelancer. It says rev freelance jobs that let you work from anywhere. Now you can see that there is some information on the left hand side. The most important part is that we are going to be paid weekly via PayPal and this is on time and dependable. Now if you would like you can go down and learn a little bit more about both of these jobs, the transcriptionist or the captioner. However, we will talk more about that later. First of all, let's sign up for an account. So all you need to do guys is in this little box here where it says become a freelancer with Rev, you just want to go ahead and fill out your information. Okay, so my information is filled out here. Now it's going to ask you for a position and your position is either a transcriptionist or a captioner. Now, if we go down, you can see the rate of pay is slightly different. You are going to earn a little bit more for being a captioner. And the only difference is, for a transcriptionist, you listen to audio and then type it out. For captioner, you are going to be watching a video and then you want to go ahead and type it out. Now, personally, the rate of pay, in my opinion, it's not really worth being a captioner. I always go for transcriptionist. I have earned a lot of money as a transcriptionist. So once again, I'm going to go for a transcriptionist in this position up here. Once all this information is filled out and you have selected your transition, go ahead and click next. So now it says welcome, tells you a little bit up here. Now it says, and this is very important guys, your earning potential will depend on a range of factors, including how many hours a week, how much practice you've had with the transcription, your productivity level, and basically guys, it depends on how much you actually want to earn. Now that sounds a little bit strange, but let me walk you through this. So if you are a brand, brand new beginner and you just want to earn casually with Rev, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes per day. If you are a beginner, you can go for $22 a week. This is 37 intermediate and $60 a week at the maximum. Personally, I don't wanna be earning casually. I want to make a lot of money with Rev. We can flick this up and you can see that this now switches to 65. 111 and over 181 dollars a week now if you want to do rev seriously this is where things get pretty crazy 108 185 and 301 per week now from my experience on rev this is a little bit on the lower side i can't lie i have definitely had weeks where i have earned over 300 dollars so that is just something to keep in mind that although it says 301 dollars you can definitely earn more than this and i have myself now no minimum commitment guys you can create your own schedule you'll get paid through paypal and you don't really have to buy any equipment. As long as your laptop or phone has a microphone, that is absolutely fine. So once you have read through this, we can just go ahead and click start application. And this is going to load up with this transcriptionist. It's going to ask you for a background. So I will show you exactly what to put in here. What is your highest level of education, guys? you want to go for at least high school. If you have higher, like an associate's or bachelor's or even a doctorate, you can select this. The minimum wants to be high school. How many years of work experience do you have? You can go for one or two as the minimum. Once again, guys, if you have over this amount of work experience, feel free to go ahead and put that here. Okay, now it says, please select if you have experience in the following industries. You want to select administrative slash supportive and also here on technology. Once you have done this, scroll down once again and please select the topics that interest you and including other as well. All of these should be selected. Do you have any prior experience in transcriptionist? Very, very important guys, you need to click yes. 
and what is your current employment status. This honestly doesn't matter guys, I always prefer to go with part time. Once you have done this, click next skill assessment. And now it says short answers. Please answer the following short questions to the best of your ability. So I'm just going to go ahead and type these out guys and then I will leave them on screen for you to go ahead and copy. So there we go guys, there is the answer for number one. Why do you want to work for Rev? You can just go ahead and copy this whole thing and this is 474 characters so we are getting it near the maximum. So you can go ahead and pause it, you can type this in and now let's move on to the next question. What is your favourite hobby and why are you passionate about it? Okay guys, now here is number two. What is your favourite hobby? I went for swimming. And once again, you can go ahead and copy down this whole answer. This time we are once again in the 400 word mark, near the maximum, so this is a very good answer that they will be very happy with. There is number three guys, where did you most recently vacation and what did you do? So I just went for another one. A little bit of a short answer this time so you can go ahead you can pause and type in this final answer i will give you a few seconds and then we are going to move on to the grammar and style okay so this is going to show answer the following questions to demonstrate your mastery of the english language and the ability to follow rev's style guidelines so if we open up the style guide and have a look at what they require. Now before we get into this, I want to say that some of these questions may be in different places. For example, what is number one for me may be number four for you. So all you need to do is find the correct question, find my answer, and then you will be able to fill this in. So number one says, well, I mean, um, there are like some other ways to um, go about it. Now the answer for this one, guys, is this top one. Well, I mean, there are some ways to go about it. All we are doing here is removing the um and this other um, just removing out these filler words, which it tells us to do if I just find it a second, guys. It says right here, omit filler words. That is exactly what we are doing here. Now, the second one says, hi, John, how are you? And the second guy says, I'm not feeling well, Paul. So we are going to go here. Paul says, hi, John, how are you? And John says, I am not feeling well, Paul. Number three says, mm, they are not going anymore because their car wouldn't start. So once again, we are just going to get rid of this. They are not going to go there anymore because their car wouldn't start. Option number one. She didn't even, she didn't really know how to accept the news. We are going to remove this false start here. She didn't really know how to accept the news. We are going to Paris in a few days. We are going to change this to we are going to Paris in a few days. Right here, number three. Now for number six, it says it's raining today. So unless you want to get drenched, you're going to need an umbrella. Now it says wanna and gonna. We are going to change this to want to and going to. Nice to meet you. I'm Michelle, director of product here at Enron. Michelle says, nice to meet you. I am Michelle, director. It's basically the second one down, guys. Now, word choice. I must admit, they are not my first choice. It's this one here, guys, with the apostrophe. Her nervousness had a profound affect, and it affected me too. Affect and affected. For all something, the test is over. This is intensive purposes. Right here, the bottom one. When I was young, I always took my teachers for granted. G-R-A-N-T-E-D. It's this middle one right here. I gave myself plenty of time to get to the party. It's this bottom one. I hosted a birthday party last Sunday. And the guys reeked, spelt like this. This top one right here, 413. And for number 14, after a period of growth, my restaurant needed more capital, spelt with an A. To continue expanding. Now for the sentence structure guys it says choose the best punctuation and capitalization. It is going to be this one right here, the third one down. Choose a sentence that is written correctly um, and it is this one. Carol has the top one. Which sentence is correctly capitalized and punctuated? It is this one right here, guys, number four, the bottom one. I saw Mike run like the wind, second one down for 18. Choose a sentence that's written correctly. My favorite stores are Bloomingdale's and Macy's. My sister only shops at Nordstrom. And is this Nordstrom or Nordstrom's? Hang on, guys, let me just run a quick Google search on this. Okay, so it is Nordstrom and it is this top option right here. Choose a sentence that is written correctly. My parents are picking me up. 
this third one down, and which sentence is correctly capitalized and punctuated. In Spain, they take siestas just like this. Okay, then we move on to the next page. Then it says almost done. Please carefully review the services agreement. So all we need to do guys is scroll through this and click I agree. Once you have done this and clicked I agree, hit submit right here and you can see that this is all done it says thank you for taking the time to submit your application and what they are going to do guys is they are going to review your request and get back to you in around about 24 hours now making money with rev.com is an awesome way to make money online however in my opinion the best way to make money online is through a business model called affiliate marketing now this is what i did and in my first month i made 7.2 thousand dollars if you want to learn exactly how i did this you can click the first link down in the description i made a video and i will tell you more about it now that is how you can pass the rev.com transcription test Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out.